Hey everyone, it's Saruke, and before we start today's video, I have a guest star. It's my dog. He is walking around here on the floor behind me, so if you hear anything tapping or whining, that's him just being bothersome. I'd also like to welcome any new subscribers who came in from last week's video. That one went, went a little bit viral, and I'm surprised. Maybe I uploaded it at a very good time or something, because it just blew up, and you should see my... YouTube analytics right now. It is a flat line going straight into a spike. It is fascinating. So welcome everyone who has come in new and uh, thank you for taking an interest in my channel. Now uh, because of this little spike in activity and subscribers and everything like that we have actually passed one of my milestones two and a half thousand subscribers and there will be a giveaway. Uh, hopefully I'll get it up beginning of next week. I've actually had a vacation slash staycation for the past two weeks, so I've been doing nothing productive at all. Uh, but hopefully I'll get that video out uh, at the beginning of next week. So now, on to today's video. Today's video is a haul, the last bit of my birthday splurge gifts for myself. Uh, initially I said I would do like videos as the stuff came in, but it just... Mm, I got a lot of stuff at once and then I had to wait for like one or two final things and it just didn't feel lucrative to put out tiny videos like that so I just saved it all uh, for a final video. It's a lot of stuff but I turned 30 and I allowed myself to splurge. I will never buy this much crap at once again. It feels kind of ridiculous at this point but uh, it's stuff I want, it's stuff I will use and that makes me happy. Let's start with the stuff that actually came in first. So one thing I did, I haven't done this in a while, I bought books. It's been a very long time since I bought books. I have a lot of the have. I had a couple of the how to draw manga books. They look very similar to these, but they have like a volume number and stuff. So I got two of these. And this one here focuses on hands and feet, uh, mainly on hands. And there's a little bit of feet at the back, but you can do so much more with uh, hands than you can do with feet. Um, but yeah, so I got one on hands and feet and then I got one on couple poses. This one is mainly for inspiration, honestly. And I shouldn't say couple poses exclusively because it's more like two characters interacting. There's a lot of different types of poses here, uh, which I really like. Um, a lot of them are ma male female couples. There are some um, Especially when you get into this couple stuff, which is disappointing. Uh, then there's a lot of fighting stuff, and just in general, there's a lot of different types of posts in here. You also get a CD, apparently, with PDF files and stuff on, which is PSD files. I've never said that right. So yeah, I got those two books. So, I have been wanting to try these for a while, which are the Kuretake Gansai Tambi watercolors. And... This is a 12 set. Uh, I got these from a um, Spanish online store, I think. I think it's Spanish, might be Italian, I can't remember. They're called Craftelier, and if you're European, I suggest you check them out because they have a lot of scrapbooking, uh, journaling, uh, general craft hobby uh, stuff. So if you're looking for like a local or a close by supplier of things like that, uh, I suggest them. I really like them. Uh, it's an interesting watercolor palette. Little concerned about the carton, but carton, <laughs> cardboard. But I'm not a very sloppy painter, so it should be fine. Uh, wish I could put them into some kind of metal tin palette because that's basically all I have. You get a lot of stuff for your buck, though. Like these pans are huge. Like I thought, I thought they were shallow. Hold on, let me see if I can pick one up here. I thought these pants would be shallow because when I've seen them on videos, they've felt very, very shallow. But they're pretty much as tall as regular pants. So this is like a, I would say a double hole pan almost. So you get twice as much color as you would in a regular hole pan and it's just insane. These are gonna last until I die and probably until my children die. <laughs> it's just, there's so much paint in here. I was tempted to get a bigger set, but uh, 12 colors tends to cover the range, uh, which is the most used. So yes, Gansai Tambi. I got, locally from Panjiro, I got two more Prima Marketing confection sets. Um, which one is this? 
yes, this is a thing I've done. I have a lot of these tins that look the same, so I've marked them up. So this is the classic, or not, the Confections Tropical. And then this one is the Classics. Gotta say, the Classics and the Tropical are fairly similar. The classics are a little bit brighter and the tropicals I'd say are a bit more rich in their colors. Uh, either way I like them. I've had the pastel dream one for a really long time and I find these palettes work really well if I want to paint in my bullet journal because it's a lot it's a lot kinder to thin paper. It's more of a craft paint or a hobby paint rather than an actual watercolor. Um, it's a little bit more chalky, so the pigment stays on top of the paper and sort of remains vibrant without soaking in. It's really nice for that kind of work. So, yes. Got those two palettes from Panjiro. Did I say that? I don't think I finished that sentence even. Um, and I've already covered them in stickers. Most of them are non-brand. This one, this one is Lee Ellickson. This is 108K. This one and this one are Joy San. The rest of them are just... No so brand. that was those two palettes, and then let's continue with the palettes. No, I didn't buy more watercolor. These are watercolor tins. Uh, previously, I've bought large 24 pan or 24 half pan tins in these two colors, and I really like these um, Medine watercolor tins. This one is not in use yet, but it's exactly the same model as these Primo Marketing ones in really any metal tin case. You get this there's room for, well, for, there's actually room for 14 half pans in this um, because, uh, let's see, which one is it? It's not that one. I actually moved my Daniel Smith watercolors in here, which was another thing I bought myself for my birthday. And then in this one, I've put my Royal Talons Van Gogh. And my Talons Van Gogh, I got in a, it felt cheap. It was like a plastic tin and it was big and wide and just not really space saving. So I managed to tuck 15 half pans into this, and since you can tuck them into this middle row, you could probably stick another, I don't know, four half pans in here. So in the rows themselves, you can get down 14 half pans. Yes, honey, I know I talk too much. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten new watercolor tins. Should I get more watercolor? I have one spare. I might just move some watercolors into that one. Uh, I'm gonna pause and change the battery because my camera is blink blinking angrily at me. And then I'll get back with the last thing I have, which is, I think I forgot to mention where I got these watercolor tins, but I got them off of Amazon. So the last thing, the biggest thing, I kinda wanna show you the spines first, are these. I bought the Tombow Irojiten, or color dictionary, and I got all three, I think there was three sets anyway. The packaging is ridiculous. It's so, at least for me, it's pleasing. I love this design. It is paper boxes. There are like volumes, one through three, four through six, seven through nine. They have names. It's, it's ridiculous. This band is actually pretty useful because you have all of the colors listed here and if I turn them over completely here you have them so initially I got this set and I got these pencil sets locally from uh, a store called Ad Libris but yeah Ad Libris is where I got these and I was really surprised to find them there this is color pencils and in each set you get uh, you first of all you get this I've removed them from these two but you get one in each and it's just a whole like list of all of the colors um, I find the swatches are fairly accurate, uh, but I've done my own swatches too. So, each volume, oh gosh, oh no, I haven't put on the straps on these, <laughs> oh gosh, uh, each volume has like, it's a, but a hard cardboard box, you get this strap, very fancy. Uh, volume and the name of the volume same on the spine has this ribbed texture it's very fancy and then it looks like this inside you have the pencils you have the pencil names here all the pencils also have their names and the thing is they have their actual names so orchid pink but they also have that number 
what further down so if you should like sharpen your pencil all the way down here so you can't read the name anymore you still have that little number to reference to which i think is great these are just stupid cute i'm not gonna lie i got these because they're stupid cute and aesthetically pleasing what i'm gonna do after i'm done showing you these is i'm just gonna dump all of these pencils into a plastic box and then i'm gonna put these empty boxes on my shelf for display because this is not a great way oh no I think, yeah, we had a disaster in one of the boxes. Um, this is why you close them. Let's see. There are quite a few different ranges too. Let me get my swatches because I'm not going to stand here and open all of the boxes. That is going to take forever. I didn't really think about it while I was buying the pencils, but one set contains 30 pencils. I bought three sets, so suddenly I have 90 color pencils that I didn't have before but here you can see uh, you have like very light very I think they're called vivid yeah so there are pale tones deep tones and vivid tones and then there are light grayish very pale dull fluorescent and then there is a second pale and a second deep um, so you get quite a big range um, I haven't pressed terribly hard with these pencils. Um, I'm, I've used them on watercolor paper. And buying just one set of volumes is a great range because uh, we remove it. You can see you have a very wide range of colors there. You go from light to dark. Um, and you get almost one of every pencil in each range. So you get like gray and you have red. Yeah, blue green so yeah it's a great range even darker the fluorescents I'm impressed by because they're actually very fluorescent and then you have the super pale ones or the grayish and then lastly here are the last ones and as soon as I finish this video there the pens are going in a box and these are going on display on a shelf because th this is not this is not great for like Unless it's your only art supply, I guess, because then maybe it's easier to keep track of. But as they are, I find it very hard to sort of just, oh, I need one pencil from here, so I'm going to take out that one. And now I need one pencil from here, so I'm going to take out that one. <laughs> the packaging is, is dumb, but very pretty. So yeah, that was the last sort of, yeah, the last gift for myself. My dog just want me to let him out. Hold on. So a ridiculous art supply that I'm very excited to use. Um... And the packaging, I'm I'm very excited to display. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to put that to the side. Yeah, so this was the last bit of my birthday stuff. Uh, last birthday haul. I am never buying this much stuff again at once. Ever. Um, well, not not at least until I turn like 35 or 40 or whatever. But that's, that's, that's a few years ahead. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome everyone who has just recently subscribed and joined in new. Thank you everyone who has been a subscriber since before. Thank you for supporting my content. There will be, as I said, a giveaway coming up very soon. So yeah, uh, until next time, keep on scribbling friends. Bye!